Oh, I log in as a Logan McNeil. And in order to create any report, we have a task called create custom report. This task. And there is a create custom report, report names, report type, advanced data source, optimizing for performance. These are the few tasks. So I'll just try with, with one of the report, which is always like, uh, we always start with a simple report. And there are a lot of types. Uh, and as you mentioned that you will be working on the HCM. So, uh, in HCM, we are actually working with simple, advanced, metrics, and search report in generally these three, uh, four type of reports. Uh, most specifically, we uh, covered a lot in advanced reports, filtration, filter, and everything. And that mm -hmm. will be reused in the metrics and other reports. So once you are expert in advanced reports, it means that you are uh, more or less able to uh, cover all the reports. Cool. Yeah, so this is a temporary report. Temporary report is like which is deleted after some specific time. Uh, optimized per, for performance is a data sources which we normally use for, for the performance. If we are working in a company with 30,000 employees or more than that, we can normally use the optimized perform, uh, for performance data sources. Otherwise, we just go with the data sources, whatever we, we uh, required. So I'll just go with the all active employees for now. We are going to, to, to discuss the, the data sources in more detail during the course. I'll just select the data source all active employee. Click OK. Uh -huh. uh, then we have a fields. Uh, what fields we are going to check or what are the column settings if we want to override them. Like, for example, if we are selecting the legal first name. And I want it to be like just F name. So these are the column headings we normally use. Then there's a last name, legal last name. Uh, oh. Let's say we, we, we wanted to bring age, date of birth. Okay. Uh, how we are go going to, to, to select these columns, either it's coming from the requirement from the customer or uh you, you can't do anything in the report without with like with your wish list right it's always the customer or the business who want you to to tell you like what information they need uh and i'm okay with uh, without using the column heading for this and then probably age age is like uh, we have already age as a number two available in workday so we don't have to calculate age uh, on the basis of date of birth and i uh, think that we have an age group too Age group is like uh, work they allow you to group in a specific age groups. So I click OK and click OK with this report. Now the report is ready with the few columns. And when you are going to run it, you click on the run and it will bring all the age. There are few people without legal, uh, legal last name and uh, there are few without date of birth. And few are under 20 and they are between 41 to 50 and their age group and those who do not have a date of birth there uh, the system is not able to calculate their age or the age group so this is like one of the simplest report we have started with uh, there are if we are going to I'll, I'll just click on again if you wanted to edit this report you have the this three dots which is called related actions in related action you click go to the custom report there is a edit there is a run and there is a test. Okay, the difference between run and test. Run will bring all the employees like within the system, but if you click on test, it will only bring the 10 data uh, fields or the 10 rows. Uh, it would be faster to bring the data and you can see that uh, your report seems okay or not uh, by just clicking on the test data or the run data. Cool. So uh, normally when I look at the first level, I just click on the test data so that it will be more faster and we can see the data. If not, and we click on the run, it will go in the detailed running and it will bring all the data. It will take us slightly more time than simple run. 
of course, when you are just testing the data, it's it's uh, and assume that you have a uh, 100,000 records in your databases, it it will be uh, taking few seconds or a minute. But if you just click on test, it will just bring first 10 records. So it will be a milliseconds. Like the time will be a huge difference when you are running the, the massive data. Okay, so if you wanted to go and edit this column again, there is a related action. You go to the related action, you go to the custom report and edit. Mm -hmm. And once you click on edit, you have this uh, menu again and you can change anything which you want. Okay. And then there is a format. If there is a number, uh, this field will be available only. If it is a number, then this format uh, field is available and you can uh, use like how do you want to display your age with the point, 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 or with the decimal, with the percentage, with the uh, with how much zero fake numbers or or the uh, or or just whatever is is there in the system. You you do not choose it. It by default it will bring whatever is in the system. Is there a way to customize the formatting or no? Yeah, it is. See, uh, there is a quite a lot. I see. So, so, so there's no way for me to customly format it. It just has to be one of the options. Tell me, what do you mean by a customized option? Uh, what if I, what if I wanted uh, a format where uh, I require the uh, the pound sign to uh, a singular pound sign needs to be at the very end, and the month at the very beginning. But not in the number, right? It will be in the date. Right. Yeah. So yes, there is a uh, there is a next uh, level. Like when we are talking about the calculated fields uh, in our subject, there you will be knowing how to do the customization. You can do a lot of customization wow. even with the numbers. Okay. Cool. Uh, can uh, edit this course. How I structured this code. I will go with the simple report. I will go with the advanced report. I will go with the calculated fields. Calculated fields are the custom fields which uh, normally work they allow us to create some of the customization or uh -huh. some uh, modification with the fields like for example if you want a first letter to be uh, to be capital or you want the whole word to be capital or you want to join two things or a lot of other areas so so i will be going to work on the calculated fields mm -hmm. uh, and once we're done with the calculated fields i will go to the matrix report uh, right. because like simple report advanced report Calculated fields in the custom reports, advanced report, and then we are going to do the the matrix report and search report. I see. Okay. So once we we let's put a uh, employee ID two here. Employee ID is employee number. I'll explain it to you in in the real, uh, next steps too. But let's say we have employee ID and we wanted to sort it. If you go to the sort and you click on the employee ID in the uh, of course, I wanted to find the fields on the report so that I wanted to to sort on them, employee ID, and then the, the sort direction, I would go with the ascending or descending and click OK, okay. and we'll go with the run again. And now this is sorted on the employee number. Cool. So the, the highest number is coming on the top. Now, if you wanted to to do to sort it on the age, you can do that. If you sort it on the date of birth, you can do that. On the name, first name or last name, whatever uh, you wanted to do, it will be possible in the sort areas. I go again on edit, and now I click on the edit, and then the conditions like a filter. You wanted to to extract the data of specific area, so I go into the filter. I click on plus sign and I go with the age, let's say age group. I'll use the age group here, and I'll go with the, uh, in the selected list. And I'll just say that bring me only 41 and 31 to 40, these two groups. And click OK and run. Uh, and now you see that we have a people who are in these groups not everybody and the the total item was 500 something but now it's 277 uh, okay so this is like uh, the the overall picture what i wanted to show you 
Have a great day. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.